top of the screen, he's been wearing number two the entire review. Uh, for a lot of the the first part of the review, we will see him to the to the top, um, to the left side of the defense, to the right side of the offense, and you'll see him switch. So we have left corner. We'll see him switch to right corner at about, I believe it's week four or five. He switches, um, but let's see. So the one thing, and and you notice it when you when you watch, is just right off of the jump you could tell you could tell he's really quick you see that flip hip right or the, the uh the hip flip right there to run vertical um now in terms of the technique that you know one two yards off and again with some of these plays i'm gonna i'm gonna go a little fast just because you guys have one heard me talk about a lot of corners before um and two obviously 67 plays could take quite a bit so um some of them will go through a little fast but this one again no man's land that that two to three yards off it's it's a really kind of a crappy area to be in uh, just one because you, you you can't you're not gonna be able to press the guy um, because you're too far off. But then you're also so close where you can't you can't take your read steps. Um, so you're not really putting yourself in a beneficial position to be as far off as he is right now. So I never really love that no man's land. I know Marcus Coleman doesn't um, either. So we don't necessarily love that. We also don't love the the the, the hop off the off of the uh, off of, off of both feet right here. This entire time he's in the air, um, he's not making contact with the ground. You're not making contact with the ground. Guess what? You can't change your direction. You can't really do anything. So we want to eliminate the no man's land. We want to eliminate the hand drop. We want to eliminate the the uh, the jump back. Now again, I'm not putting this in any specific order. This is one of the first ways I saw this, so, that, so I recorded it. In general, uh, I really 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 like DJ Reed. Uh, first play, not great. In terms of the technique, but um, again, is able to now land a hand, which okay, cool. He is forced to um, to flip back quickly to get vertical, obviously, because he 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 he's he's stepping into um, he's stepping DJ Reed to the to the inside, so he flips the match. Obviously, super super quick to get right back onto his hip. He's not screwing around in terms of just getting vertical. He's working right back towards him. Um, the receiver sits it down, and he is able to. He's out of that break before the receiver is. He's there. He's in front of him. If that ball is there, it's, it's, it's a PD or a pick. So we're seeing him absolutely stick that route without really even having good technique, um, which obviously we, we want to see. Hopefully this is making it a little bit bigger for you guys when I do that. Um, I don't know. But let's say uh, Reed give too much ground. Okay, right here um, on the bottom, we have third and two, three. So that's important to note, I would assume. Um, and in this, in this scenario where we're looking – We're looking at what looks like a cover six. So you have two and six, and he's matching the vertical stem of him, and 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 uh, and the the inside um, safety right here is going to match the vertical stem of, of two. So he's again matching the vertical stem, and with any with with really no other threat being anywhere close in like a bunch that stack or anything like that, he could pretty much almost lock this man. Um, and I don't know exactly what their rules are, but like typically teams like okay, you know, and obviously it depends on the set, but. If you're if you're gonna play like that, like four, okay, after eight to twelve yards, you're gonna you're gonna match vertically, but there's nothing else really out here. You can you can kind of stick it a little bit more than you would. Um, but nonetheless, we what we don't like is this much room just horizontally, just 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 from um yeah, again, just a horizontal relationship. You're you're talking about a good, you know, three, four yards right here, and he's playing off. Okay, if he's gonna play if he's gonna play off and he's right over the top. I'm cool with it. If you're going to play off and give him the inside and open up immediately, it's going to be really, really hard for Reed to stop any type of in-breaking route, or even if he sits it down, sits it down, it'll be easier than, you know, in-breaking route, but it's a tough spot to be in um, or to put yourself in to, to win with the receiver who um, eventually sits it down and makes the catch for the, for the first down. Why? It's, be, it's really because of technique. It's just, he's giving him way too much room um, to that, to that inside. And specifically with Reed, we're going to see him struggle a little bit more than he does in the beginning of the season when he switches to the to the uh, right cornerback spot. He's much better, um, in my opinion. Still not bad here. He just needs to team up some things technically again. Third and two, third and three. This is this is too easy. Um, so moving on, Cloud. Okay, so we're we're going to be talking about some type of cover two um, or six. And he is again towards the top right here. He's in that cloud, so he just can be playing the short area of the field. He's gonna have help over the top, help inside. So let's see. Yeah. Um, obviously, the thing the thing with that cloud is, and and the weakness of that cover too. If you attack this corner, if you're gonna show him something short, uh, the safety who's who's <clears throat> typically inside leverage, this sideline is going to be the weak point. 
Um, as a corner though, there are a lot of guys are going to teach them to, to trail this guy, tr- you know, trail, um, the number two or anything really vertical and then jump back on anything short. So you want to play deep to short. A lot of guys get caught up with the eye candy though. Um, but a lot of, but a lot of good corners who are athletic and trust themselves and who are smart will split the difference of, of, of these guys. Um, instead of just locking completely to one. And we see DJ Reed who is, is in a shuffle. Um, and again, it's a little bit different way to play a cloud, but playing as cloud has his, has his, the guy who's in front of him inside of his sight line. Okay. And then, um, again, typically with this verse cover two, you're going to see that smash concept and he's going to get underneath of the corner route, cut that off. And, uh, obviously if it was thrown on target, it would have been a pick. I don't know if, I don't know if Wentz tries to throw it away, um, because he sees Reed or not. I'm going to, I'm going to assume so unless it's just a piss poor throw, which it's possible it's Wentz. Um, but it's a really good job by Reed again, splitting the difference and really would be able to play a ball to either receiver, um, at that point. So really good job right there. Um, by Reed. Now we're going to see trigger again. Hopefully this is big enough, uh, for you guys. This one might've no, maybe started a quarter of a second late. I don't know. He said the top of the screen, we're going to see his trigger. Good angle, um, obviously, where they're just trying to run him underneath of this clear out. So they're clear, clearing it out, rubber out, whatever you want to talk about, or whatever you want to call it. He's in it, this, this receiver, uh, Pittman, I believe. Pittman is going to get vertical, forcing DJ Reed to either come over the top. If he comes over the top, he's not going to be quick enough to make the play on the receiver. Or if he tries to cut it underneath, um, he's completely screwed. You just, you just don't want to cut it underneath unless you're – if you're more tight and you can and you trust yourself to – um, that fine. If he's going to be this high and try to go underneath this, obviously it's going to be an absolute disaster, but he notices him driving. Um, and then he's going to notice the, the clear out the rub. Um, and he's gonna get over the top with obviously with good pacing, good speed, uh, very, very good speed. Again, trigger, get there. And he's probably, does he start to, does he start? Yeah, it's, 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 it's a one, two, you know, again, pretty quick trigger gets right over the top, plays it upfield shoulder, Eyes on the quarterback. Um, the ball doesn't go there, um, but it's a hell of a job by, by Reed with that trigger to get there. Not necessarily the easiest spot to be in for him. Um, missed tackle. Aggressive tackler. Um, a good tackler overall. He, he does miss a few. I forget exactly why, to be completely honest, because I recorded this player with a watch March 15th. So I don't, I don't know. I can't do math. Um, but quite a few months ago. So let's see. Top of the screen right here, missed tackle. Okay, simple. Yeah, so generally he's pretty good. This this one, there's really not much to, to break down. He needs to take a better angle here. Uh, obviously running back leaks out and he takes the he takes more of a, again, if anything, you want to take that angle outside in instead of inside out um, because you, you want to guard against the sideline because that's where obviously less of the defenders will be or if any. So you want to take that, that angle outside in, but he remains a little bit too far outside, just a little bit, you know, and, and this delayed motion of, okay, stop. Oh shit. He's too far inside. I'm not sure why he delays again. Like I don't, I'm not sure what all, all of this dead time is right here. Um, but it's, that's, 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 that's bad. And, and that's not typical of him. This is, this is just bad. And, and people have blips on the radar. Um, but he needs to just take an angle to, to more of that, that outside hip, um, to cut that off instead of just again, shuffling and just giving giving him the inside just it's 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 gift wrapped right there gift wraps it takes it um for the for the first down again if you are only watching the first five plays which it's your fault not mine you gotta subscribe uh this is not indicative of his, of his game so uh, again he struggled initially but he is very very good so top of the screen versus double move um versus i think that's coolio I'm not sh- I think that's Julio. Yeah, two, right? Um, yeah, he's he's. If you're gonna run a double move versus him, it's honestly gonna be tough because he's very very patient, um, and he does a good job mostly playing angles with with double moves and in terms of just staying on that upfield shoulder. Um, again, you you want to cut toward the shoulder. He's gonna have to break up and through because then you're. Even if you fall for it, and you're driving down hard. Okay, well, he's going to turn back into you anyway. So you don't want to. You don't want to try to jump. You don't want to try to jump it, but you want to just stay again on that on that upfield shoulder. So 
he gets into a shuffle or sorry, he gets into, he gets into a back pedal. Um, pretty good bounce, obviously, you know, with, with the shoulders over the knees, um, not sitting backwards on his heels. So that's, that's, we like, we like the pedal. It can, it, it can honestly be even a little bit smoother. You kind of, you can see the kind of a pop up right there, but nonetheless, very patient over the top of the, of the stem. Julio breaks it outside. Doesn't sell it the best. Um, it's not, it's not, he doesn't, he doesn't break extra hard off of that, off of this break step. So he breaks outside. Reed doesn't fall for it. Julio tries to use a little bit of that, that peak technique to look back to sell it. Again, he's not sold by, by the body language. And because he's so confident in his ability that if, if, if he were to break this out and actually look for the ball, he has plenty of faith in himself to be able to drive down on that. So he plays it very, very patiently. It feels like something's coming because again, he doesn't sell it very well. Stays on that upfield shoulder, upfield shoulder. He breaks and where is Reed? Right on him. Stay on that upfield shoulder. Exactly what he does. Matches him. Completely cuts that route off. So again, it's a really good job um, by Reed versus the double move. Uh, Reed push tackle. Okay. Uh, top of the screen here. Push. Uh, I guess I'm talking about like push in terms of, okay, no, no nobody's breaking any out seriously. He's going to push the coverage over here. He's, look, he's looking for any crossing routes. Obviously, the ball is thrown to the uh, tight end right here. And we're going to see him make a tackle. Um, again, this is just for him being a 5'9". I think he's actually 190. Um, so he's actually thicker than you'd think. Like people think of him like, oh, he's a small corner. Yeah, he's he's small in height, but his weight is pretty good, again, for 190 plus for 5'9". And his arm length is a little bit over 31. So it's not like he's a small, like he, he has weight and he has, he has decent arm length for him. So um, he's not as small as you think he would be or as he is. But um, again, for him to make this open field tackle on, on the on the tight end is good. And let's see the form crosses his helmet, wraps up. That's, that's, that's what we like. Breaks down, is in control. All good right there. Uh, Reed versus AJ. Okay. Again, hopefully this is large enough for you guys. Um, he is in the slot right here. So most likely going to have a man look. Obviously, it's this corner's overlook. Um, and let's see him in man coverage versus AJ Brown. Um, again, pretty good. Let's watch in slow motion now. Okay. 